Okay, just when you thought it was over or almost over, COVID-19 is rebounding in our state. Although testing levels are low, the positivity rate jumped to 17.4% from 11% a month ago, according to the Department of Health. Let's turn now to Dr. Eileen Marty, distinguished professor and of infectious disease expert at Florida International University. Dr. Marty, thanks so much for joining us this evening. I'm hearing from lots of people, friends of ours, even colleagues saying that they just recently had COVID and that it was one of the worst bouts they'd ever had. So why why are we seeing an uptick in cases over the summer? There's several reasons why we're seeing an uptick in cases. Number one, there are two new variants that are slowly taking over. One of them is the uh, EG.5, which is a, uh, a new twist to a previous bad actor, particularly bad form of Omicron, uh, which is very, very, very contagious. That's one of the reasons. Uh, the second reason involves uh, the heat that we've had and, um, and so many people going indoors and being in crowded spaces with the air conditioner right that's part of it the other part of it is the travel where we are you know we've been so enclosed during the worst of the pandemic that everybody's going out and mingling with a lot of different people so again that's that high exposure and again we're sort of tired of the pandemic we're not using the uh, public health measures that reduce the risk like we were before uh, and so that also increases the incidence and then the last but not least is reducing uh, uh, the greater distance between the last time that you had COVID or the last time that you got your vaccine and your new exposure so that the level of um, good neutralizing antibodies in your blood has gone down, increasing the risk that you'll actually manifest symptoms when the virus gets into your body again. So it's circulating. We're setting ourselves up for, it for how we're exposing ourselves and our immunity has waned uh, because of time, which is a natural phenomenon for coronaviruses and the SARS-CoV-2 uh, is one of those. And, um, and so one of the best advices uh, right now is to be mindful, uh, and especially if you are someone who is uh, susceptible to, you know, having a worse a type of disease, you have underlying conditions, you're immunocompromised, uh, your age, those sorts of individuals need to be particularly uh, uh, paying attention to where they are. Have a mask on uh, in hand uh, if you find yourself in a crowded indoor space and people are starting to cough and sneeze all around you, that would be a good moment to put one on. Uh, on the other hand, if you you have a respiratory disease, uh, you really should wear a mask if you're going to be out and around public, uh, around other people, so that you don't spread it to others. And last but not least, and probably the most important, is stay up to date with your COVID-19 vaccine.